Well, the Brooklyn Bridge may look a lot emptier today. That's because a ban on vendors on the bridge went into effect this morning. Robert Moses is live at the Brooklyn Bridge with more. Robert, how's it looking out there? Well, Tashani and Dan, there is a very noticeable NYPD presence here this morning, and we have seen some of these vendors carrying items off the bridge. This normally bottlenecked span looks much different than it did just a few hours ago. We're trying to be busy the last day, the last hours. Raul Salgado feverishly peddled his wares on the Brooklyn Bridge last night, the last day the city would allow him to do so. Starting today, he and other vendors, including licensed ones, cannot sell souvenirs here anymore. It's going to be a nightmare because we're not going to be able to put our stents over here. We're not going to be able to work. We're not going to be able to provide food for our kids at home. The city promised that after days of warnings, starting at the stroke of midnight, workers from the Department of Transportation would clear merchandise left on the pedestrian path and store items so vendors can retrieve them later. We need order in the city. Mayor Eric Adams says the vendors created a bottleneck which could cause a stampede in the event of an emergency. So he says the city must take action. He recounted a recent visit to the bridge. It's not only a sanitary sanitary issue. It's a public safety issue. People were jumping over the bridge onto the bike path because we came to a blockage. Laura Burt, who lives in Washington Heights, noticed the same thing. I feel like it clogs up the walkway and, you know, people are just crowded around. But the crowds provide income, which vendors fear will plummet today as a result of the city's crackdown. Salgado made this plea to the mayor. Help us out as the way they're helping all the people who were crossing the border. And this ban applies to all of the nearly 800 bridges in New York City. But let's face it, the vast majority of the vending occurs here at the Brooklyn Bridge. And again, this morning, it looks much different than last night. And we're live in Lower Manhattan this morning. Dan, back to you. All right, Robert, thank you very much.